Hello, 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 hello. Let's not wait for the countdown. Just give me a second here. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to get rid of the music because, for some reason, it's not coming through properly on the old stream. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Welcome. It's a quick stream because I wanted to just look at a couple of AI tools that I've been playing with recently, which are fantastic for taking your old black and white photographs and colorizing them. I know you can do this in applications like Photoshop, Pixelmator, probably um, Adobe as well has those programs available. But there's a couple that are free ish um, for you to play with anyway and I thought it'd be great just to take a quick look at some of those applications that are out there right now that can actually enhance old black and white photographs so I'm just going to get rid of the music here because you can't hear it and I can hear it but it's bugging me because you can't hear it but it doesn't matter anyway let me show you what I'm talking about so let's go to the first one okay so this is a program called, um, I can't even remember the name of the program now. It's a great start. Let me just check the name of the program. It is called uh, Palette with a P. And this is a program that basically does AI enhancements to photographs. This is all it does. Now, there is a pricing model. It is sort of free, as I mentioned. You can actually preview your photographs for free. You can upload them, test them out. And then there's a different sort of set of filters and, and virtual sort of uh, views that you can take a look at and choose a color and palette that you like. And then you can pay with credits to download the photograph once you've played around with it. So at least it gives you the opportunity to play around with the photograph first before you have to pay up front, find out that it's rubbish, and then you have to get out a subscription model. So I like that about it. So let's take a look at it. One second, excuse me. I'm bringing the microphone over a little bit. So um, it's pretty simple. You just upload an image and play with it. So let's upload an image. Now I've got a couple of different images here. Um, I'll show you what I have. I have this one, which is Laurel and Hardy, my favorite slapstick tubo of all time. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that. Abe Lincoln, for you American people out there. Um, and then there's a black and white movie photograph of John Wayne, one of my family's favorites. All right, so let's take, uh, let's take Lauren Hardy first. I'm excited. Let's upload it. Okay, so what it does, as you can see, is it basically creates um, a base palette of the colors that it thinks is good for enhancement. And then you've got all these other various ones. Now look at that already. I mean, isn't that incredible? It just takes this um, image here and from black and white and creates it into color. It's fantastic. I didn't do anything. I just uploaded the photograph. How truly amazing. So I did that. And then you can pick on different ones. So these different filters, just like you would apply a LUT or a filter, an effect in Instagram and things like that. It's very similar, but it's actually using AI to enhance um, the photograph and put the colors where it should be instead of making a right mess of it, as I would do if uh, <laughs> if I was to actually do that myself. So here we are with Lavender Dusk. It takes a little bit of time and it's all been done in the cloud. It's not been done locally on my computer. But once you've clicked through um, a few of these, you can easily switch back and forth on the images. Um, so that's pretty cool. And if you, if you go to download it, um, it is going to ask you to pay for it with credits. So we're not going to do that today, but I, I actually like the base palette. I think it's it's really cool. Um, and it just shows some slight contrast enhancements to the picture and just colorizes it really naturally, I think. And it's and it's pretty nice. So let's let's do another one. Let's do a new. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do Abe Lincoln. Now, this one is a bit more complicated, I think, because it's got a lot of noise in the photograph. Obviously, it's an old photograph. It's shot on film. So there's lots of noise and grain in that. I'm not sure what it's going to do and how, how it's going to work that out. But let's take a look at it. 
Oh, we have to wait with anticipation, don't we? I wish there'd be some music playing in the background. It would have been a lot better. Look at that. I'm sorry. I, I do, I, I'm getting excited because, <laughs> because it's a very interesting way of, you know, manipulating old photographs. Um, and I did do a couple of test runs a couple of days ago just with some old family photographs. I was very impressed with the subtle colours that it that it added. I think it's I think it's really really nice actually how, it, how it's adding that. So let's um, let's take a look. Let's just go for another one over here. Let's go for Royal Vibes and see what that does. I'd be interested to know if any of you are using AI for your photographs or videos. I've got quite a few videos coming up on the workflows using AI, um, specifically for video, particularly when you're slowing down video and, and manipulating stuff like that. But there's been a lot of talk about AI recently. Um, I think that's fantastic. Now, over here, you've got um, basically uh, other ways of playing around with this. So if you surprise me, it's going to just make some subtle changes to that. And I think you can you can obviously click through and change the palette and do a few other manipulations. Um, I'll show you the pricing in a second, but it's not expensive. And if, particularly if you've just got a small suite of photographs from your family or from your loved ones that are in old black and white format and you want to recreate them into nice colorized images for printing and so on. I think it's pretty good. Now, I think the resolution of the export clearly depends on the imported image itself. It's going to do some enhancements and cleanup, but I think it's I think it's pretty good. So let's do one more and then I'll show you another program that does something very similar. Um, so this is John Wayne. I don't know the actress's name that's with him. I should do. I'm very good with faces, but terrible with uh, actors' names sometimes. So if you know who this is, leave the name in the comments because I cannot remember. It's obviously from a famous John Wayne film back in the day, but I clearly don't know what that is. Okay, so let's take a look. This is a fine looking photograph. And when we add the base palette to it, there you go. Look at that. I think that's magical. I couldn't do that in Photoshop. I'm not very good at Photoshop. I didn't even if I tried and learned how to do it, I couldn't get it as good as this. All right. So that's one of the programs. And now let's take a look at another one. So this one is MyHeritage. Now MyHeritage does a lot of AI workflows right now. Um, you can see in the photo um, section, you've got colorize, you can enhance, you can animate photographs, which is very bizarre. I did animate a photograph of, uh, of a family member some time ago, and it was very, very bizarre. It's very moving, but also very bizarre to see a photograph of somebody who's passed away, um, changing and, and animated. It's, um, it's very weird, but AI is getting to that point now where there's a lot of stuff that it can do. Anyway, we're going to look at just colorized photos today. On our next video, I'm going to take a look a little bit more about some of the things that it does do. So let's take a look at uploading this photograph. Um, let's look and see what it does with uh, Abraham Lincoln again. Oh, I got to log in. Oh, I forgot about that completely. All right, let me log in. Give me one second. I'm going to have to try and log into that somewhere else. Uh, let me log in and just put the Be Right Back screen on and I will log in.
right. Sorry about that. Okay, I've logged in now. So let's go back to my heritage. And here is the photograph. Now it's just uh, uploading as normal and then it will colorize. Let's see. Let's see, see, see what it does. Oh, okay. So it says it looks like this photo may be scratched or damaged. So use the repair button to fix it. So let's do that. I think that's going to clean it up. So remember when I said the scratches and obviously um, marks on this photograph because it's old. Well, the reason for that, um, and let's have a look. Let's look at before and after. So that's before and you can see all the scratches here at the top. And then if you move the slider, it's done a pretty good job of cleaning up. I think the highlights are quite much on here. But let's see if we can enhance this a bit further. So Maya Heritage has got a lot more AI workflows in it than Palette. Um, but I think you have to pay quite a bit more with My Heritage. But again, there's a lot more within the product itself. So the photo is ready. So yeah, I mean, it's enhanced a little bit. I'm not sure if I like the way that it's done it. Um, I think with this, you don't get as much opportunity to, um, to colorize the picture. You don't have a, a suite of, of palettes. Let's look at the face. So you can see what it's done there in terms of the cleanup. So I, I don't think it's done a terrible job at actually cleaning that up and making it look nice with the colors. But let's try another one. Let's try, let's try John Wayne. Personally, I prefer palette because it allows you to add those separate filters and make some choices. Here, I think it's making decisions for you and deciding what you want to do with the picture. Now, I think that's pretty good. Let me take a look at these settings here. Yeah, so it's just showing the difference. So here's the colored version. Here's the black and white original version. And if I go to enhance, let's see what this does. Great. It's not letting me do anything now. So thanks very much for that. I think you only allowed a couple of uploads and then boom, you are done. All right. So thanks a lot there, my heritage. Another reason why I prefer to use palette. All right. I'm going to do a few more videos on AI workflows for um, video and other things. Uh, I thought it was quite interesting to take a look at these applications because they are going to be a way of life and make as creators our lives much easier when it comes to creating content. I mean, there's so many things out there now like chat GPT and a whole multitude of AI based applications, services and workflows that's going to enhance and help us with our creativity. Hopefully that's the plan anyway. Well, I appreciate those of you who've stopped by to say hi and join in this very short impromptu stream. I was going to do another stream today, actually, about using a 10 year old DSLR as a webcam. That is coming up. I've rescheduled that. So it's in the up and coming videos on this channel. Um, but anyway, thanks for stopping by once again. And I will see you in the next video, whatever that's going to be. I'm going to try and stream every Wednesday or do a video every Wednesday, every week, if I can. And uh, that's the plan for now. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon and peace out.